What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and today I'm really excited. I'm excited because I'm going to be unboxing and testing out my first 3D printer. All right guys, so in the box is another box. This is the actual box. And uh, on this box you see there's a picture of the actual printer here. This is the Robo 3D printer. This is the R1, the second version. And on the bottom here it says personal 3D printer, single extruder, PLA plus ABS capabilities and fully assembled. And uh, down here is a website, www.robo3d.com. And it also says it includes Robo 3D software, quick start videos, manuals, power USB cables, SD card functionality, extra tools. And it's, pre it's pretty cool. Now, if you guys don't know, Robo 3D was a Kickstarter and it's probably one of the most successful 3D printing Kickstarters. They surpassed their goals. And this printer is highly recommended. I was doing my research before I got this printer. And this is a good first uh, printer for, for you guys who are first time uh, 3D printer owners as, as am I. This is my first 3D printer. So a good price, good value, big uh, printing area. And it has a heated bed, which you need heated beds keep uh, the plastic uh, level so they don't warp. So let's just flip this to this side because there are more stuff on this side. Right, on this side, it just tells you like the specs and everything that's included. And on this side here, it just tells you the uh, quality of the printer, the build volume, which is 720 cubic inches. It prints in multiple materials, like I said, ABS, uh, PLA, even nylon, even prints in other exotic materials. It's affordability, it's, it's really inexpensive. It's only like $799. And uh, the access to replacement parts, this is an open source printer, so you have access to a ton, a ton of uh, replacement parts, and uh, you have a huge community by this. And uh, you, you can even uh, print stuff that the community creates to improve the printer itself, so it's pretty cool. All right, without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Got the handy Danny unboxing knife. I think there's one piece of tape here. All right, so on top of the box, there are a few things here. There is this getting started video software that comes in this USB flash drive. There is the SD card that you're gonna to use to uh, plug into the printer. It comes with this letter, De dear valued customer, congratulations on being a proud owner of a new Robo 3D R1 personal 3D printing. We would like to extend to you our invitation to become part of the Robo 3D community. You can do this by joining our user forum at the URL here, this network will provide you access to countless other Robo 3D owners who are sharing experiences, helping one another and showing off 3D prints. Thank you for purchasing and happy printing. Best regards, Michael. I guess Michael is a president or something of the company and uh, from the team, Robo 3D. Pretty cool. Go down the side here. Over here is just some caution thing you guys gotta go through. Uh, make sure uh, if you're in the US, you switch uh, the power on the power supply to 115. If you're anywhere else other than the US, it's 230. So you gotta be careful or else you can uh, do damage to the printer or even start fires and stuff like that. So be very careful. Comes with this makeable.com brochure. And it also comes with this sticker thing. I don't know what this is. I think it goes on the build tray. I'm assuming it goes on the build tray, uh, but uh, we'll find out later on. And let's just lift this up here. This is a piece of top styrofoam that protects the printer. And I just keep this at the top of the printer right here. All right, so let's get the printer out of the box. All right, guys, so I took it out of the box. And as you can see, this is how it looks. It's wrapped up with some styrofoam and it has some included accessories. So let me just remove this piece here. Let's get this piece of tape off. You have your USB cable here that will connect you to the computer. Down here, they give you a chisel. This chisel is used to scrape off your, uh, your prints. It's a handy dandy chisel. A power cable that powers the Bobo 3D. Let's just open this up. Power cable. It also comes with a bag full of like tools, like uh, this tweezer here. You got this uh, Phillips precision screwdriver here, and a few other tools, like little wrenches and Allen keys and stuff like that. Now let's turn this over. First, we need the plastic here. Now on this side, you have the spool holder here. This holds the filament. And it connects to the back. 
here. The filament goes here and it connects, I think, to the side or the back. But I'm gonna be doing uh, a 3D print uh, that'll print a new spool holder. And that spool holder is gonna go on top because uh, this printer had problems when, with the uh, spool holder on the side. The filament would get jammed into other people's prints. So the community came together and they created something uh, that helped that situation by uh, creating another spool holder that mounts on top. So I'm going to print one of those for the top of this. Let's remove the styrofoam here. All right. I removed the styrofoam. Now, as you can see, this is the printer itself here. This is the heated bed here. This is the extruder slash hot end. And let's just remove the other styrofoam from the other end. All right guys, so this is the 3D printer itself here without all the cardboard and styrofoam. Now over here, this is the build platform. This is a heated uh, platform, by the way. So uh, when you do print with like PLA or ABS, it won't work because uh, the, the platform is heated. And uh, this here is the extruder slash hot end. This pulls in uh, your ABS or PLA, wherever it's over you want. It heats it up and it l leaves a layer on this bed here. And it, the way the printer works is uh, it moves around, creates one layer, then creates another layer, then another layer. It takes time, but it, eventually you'll get a three-dimensional object. So this here is able to move left and right up and down. The build plate also moves up and down. So with the right software, you're able to create a lot of cool stuff. So right here, under here, I guess the build platform is under some cardboard. So let's just lift this up. I guess you can remove the whole build platform. Let's get this cardboard out of the way. Under here, there's like some motors and some other stuff. So I'm just gonna see if I can mount this back on here. It's held by magnets, so your your build platform is always going to be level and always going to be on the right angle. All right, guys, I forgot to show you the other box that it comes with. It comes with some sample PLA material that you can uh, use with the printer. And this is just a little sample. This is blue PLA. And I'll be trying this one first before I try the three. So pretty cool that they give you sample uh, filament. All right, guys, so I set this up. I connected my MacBook Pro here to the Robo 3D printer, and now I'm gonna power this thing up for the first time, so let's see what happens. All right, so it's starting up. As you can see, it's loading right now, we're starting up. It's got some blue LEDs to make it look cool, and uh, I guess uh, the motor's on right now. Install, all right guys, so the next step is to install the software. It has uh, the software on this USB drive here. It says plug, uh, scan this card into back of thumb drive, so it connects to the back of the thumb drive, plug, Thumb drive into computer, watch getting started video and download software needed. So let's find out. All right guys, so I loaded up the software. I connected everything to the printer, including the spool. I inserted the filament from the top into the extruder and pretty much everything's ready to go. I have my first print in the queue here. This is a whistle. And uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but all I have to do now is just click on this print button here and it should start. So I clicked on print. It's uh, preparing to print whistle, creating top and bottom layers and begin printing the selected item. So I think it's just heating up the bed right now and uh, this thing just started moving. So let's see what happens. This is exciting, this is my first print here. Hopefully the bed is level. By the way, this has auto bed level. You can configure it on your own, but it'll automatically try to configure itself like it's doing right now. It's just trying to figure out where it's uh, places with between the build plate and the extruder. So it, it tests different spots. This is normal. Instead of uh, you configuring it yourself and uh, you know, you, it might be a human error. You never know. It might be a little millimeter off and your print's gonna be completely off. But this completely eliminates human error and it will calibrate everything. And so now it's starting to print right. All right guys, so as you can see, it's doing its thing. I don't know what layer it's on right now, but it's pretty freaking fast. All right, so as, and it has a, an approximate time, 37 minutes, it should finish. So can't wait to see how this thing turns out. All right guys, I finished my print. Here it goes. This is the whistle right here. This is the whistle we've been working on and it's printed out of PLA and it came out amazing. 
So I'm, I'm excited that this came out good. And I'm excited to uh, do more prints. Now, I don't know if you guys can see in the background there, I got the green spool on. I'm going to be working on another print. Uh, if you guys ever watched Stargate or the Stargate TV show, the movie, I love I love this series. I love the movie. And I'm going to be printing an 8-inch uh, Stargate. So I can't wait till that's finished. It's going to take about six hours to finish. So if you guys are interested or if you like Stargate, stay tuned. Now, I highly recommend this printer for you guys starting out uh, with 3D printers. I'm, I'm used to 3D printers. It's only $799. You're not breaking the bank. And even if you guys have uh, had experience with 3D printers, it's an awesome printer. It's good quality. And it's, it, it pays to have me a second printer even if you have one. Now, uh, this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossBurtech.com, and thanks for watching.